Welcome to one of my Tech Tip Tuesday videos where on a random Tuesday, I will upload a Tech Tip video. Now, chances are you're not watching this on a Tuesday, but it is Tuesday when I uploaded this video. I'll use these videos to give you a bicycle tech tip, sometimes answering questions that people leave in comments, which is what I'll do in this video. Someone recently asked me if you could put tire sealant inside of a tube if it has a removable valve core to seal up punctures if you get them when you're riding. And the answer is yes, you can, however, I recommend that you go full tubeless and I'll explain why in this video. First, I'll say real quick what I mean by a removable valve core and that is one where you can take a tool like this one, the stands tool, and you can actually unthread and pull out the valve core. And when you do that, you can put sealant down inside. Now, of course, you do have to make sure you buy a tube with a removable valve core, which not all of them in fact, I would say the majority don't. So if you wanna do this, make sure you do get a tube that has a valve core that you can remove. But here is why I recommend going full tubeless. There's three reasons. First of all, the ride quality of a tire without a tube in it is better. And this is what we noticed way back in the day when we took standard tires and converted them to tubeless. Immediately, we noticed that the tires were able to conform better to the bumps. So as you hit little bumps, the tire is actually gonna conform. Now, if you're running full tubeless and not using a tube, you can run lower tire pressure because if you have a tube, you've gotta worry about pinch flats. And even though you have sealant down inside that tube, you still can get pinch flats, which is, looks like a little snake bite on the tube if you ever get one. If you go full tubeless, you don't have to worry about that. Now, yes, you do have to worry about dinging your rims and you don't wanna run tire pressure that's too low. The other thing is without that firmer tube inside the tire, the tire is gonna be more supple, again, allowing it to conform over bumps. What that does is it gives it a smoother ride quality and it gives you more traction, cornering, braking, accelerating. It's just gonna make the tire ride better. The second reason is that you're adding weight. So tubes don't look like they would be very heavy, but this is a tube made for a trail bike and it's got some heft to it. I don't know the exact weight, but tubes that are made for mountain biking can be pretty heavy and you're adding rotational weight, which is where the weight makes the biggest difference. In other words, if you have static weight like a water bottle, it's not gonna affect the ride quality as much as weight in the wheels because the weight is going out further from the center and it's gonna make the bike accelerate slower. It's just gonna make it feel heavier. Without the tube and the tire, the bike's just gonna handle quicker. It's gonna feel lighter when you're riding it. So again, you're adding weight if you run a tube. And finally, if you do get a puncture, there are times when the sealant cannot seal the puncture. It's not very often for me. It's actually very rare, but it does happen. With the tube, if that happens, you're gonna to have to pull out the tube and either patch it or put in another tube. If you're using a full-on tubeless tire and that happens, most of the time you can use a plug kit such as this one. This is a Stan's Dart, and all you have to do is you find the hole, you plug it, which really takes just a few seconds, and then you air the tire back up, and then you're good to go. You don't have to mess with tubes. So those are the three benefits that you would lose if you're running tubes. Better ride quality with tubeless, lower weight, and then the ability to use a plug kit. So that is my tech tip of the day. Yes, you can put tire sealant inside of a tube. In fact, if you're running tubes, I would recommend doing that. But if you can at all possible, I recommend going fully tubeless, getting tubeless wheels and tubeless tires. Any questions or comments that you have, drop those below. Thanks for watching.